As you may have heard, it's Michigan Ohio State Week, the 113th all time meeting between these two heated rivals, and it figures to be one of the biggest ones ever. The Buckeyes have owned this series of late, winning 11 of the last 12 seasons. And Michigan defensive tackle Ryan Glasgow joining us now from our studio in Ann Arbor. Ryan, I'm just going to get to this right away. You have never been a part of a team that has won this game. What would it mean to beat Ohio State? Oh, it would mean everything to the senior class, to the fan base. Uh, you know, it's the biggest game I've been a part of, probably one of the biggest games uh, in the Ohio State-Michigan game series overall. Um, the biggest since 2006, I know that for sure. So I'm really excited about it, and the team is too. Let's talk about your preparation for this game. What's the toughest part of their offense for you to deal with? Um, all the weapons they have. You know, they have JT Barrett, Samuel Weber. Um, the offensive line is really well coached. They play really hard. So cumulatively, they're probably the best offense we've, uh, we've played all season and are going to play. So that's probably the biggest part is just them as a whole. You mentioned JT Barrett. What makes him so special when you watch him and prepare for him? What stands out? Um, he's good at everything. You know, he can run the ball and design plays. He can scramble. He can throw the ball deep. And uh, he can hit the short to intermediate routes. Uh, he can do it all, and he's a great leader for their team and for their offense. Ryan, we've been talking as the media about the possibility of this game having this type of implications all year. But how tough has it been for you as a player to focus on the task at hand week to week and not let your mind wander at some point to the enormity of what was lying down the line here? You know, it can be tough at points. Uh, you catch, them, catch yourself watching them on TV, uh, scouting them unintentionally uh, at a game they play at night after you play your game. But uh, Coach Harbaugh's done a great job of keeping us focused, and every game is a championship game. If you want this uh, Ohio State-Michigan game to mean anything at the end of the season in terms of Big Ten championship uh, possibilities and playoff contender possibilities. So it is tough, honestly, but I think Coach Harbaugh's done a good job uh, keeping the blinders on us as we've uh, gone throughout the season. When you really think about it, lack of success against Ohio State is one of the reasons that Coach Harbaugh is at Michigan, one of the reasons that the job came open. So what has his message been about the nature of this rivalry, not necessarily just about this game this year, but about what the Ohio State game means to the Michigan program? Um, I think the analogy he's used is uh, it's a street fight, you know. Uh, two really good teams are going to battle out there. And uh, you got to prepare or else uh, you can go out there and get your butt kicked as a player and as a team. So you have to prepare hard. You have to work all season. And this is kind of the pinnacle and the accumulation of all the hard work that you put in throughout the season and through camp and the offseason. Your brother Graham preceded you at Michigan, and I know he had actually committed originally to go to Ohio State as a walk-on, and then Jim Tressel got let go, and all of a sudden he wasn't sure what his future would be there, and then ultimately ended up walking on at Michigan instead. And of course, then you followed him there. Have you ever thought about the possibility, if he would have gone to Columbus, that maybe you would have ended up on the opposite side of this rivalry? Yeah, that has crossed my mind before. Um, Graham and I have talked about it. And you know what, there probably is a pretty decent chance uh, we both could have ended up at Ohio State. And also our little brother Jordan could have too. So it is kind of strange that we could be on the other side of the rivalry, but I'm glad I ended up in Michigan and I couldn't be prouder to be a Wolverine. Have you reflected at all on your journey this week? I mean, this is going to be your last regular season game in a Michigan uniform. I mentioned you were a walk-on, you're a scout team player. You go from that to getting a scholarship. You go from that to starting and participating in, as you said, one of the biggest games in the history of Michigan football. What do you think about when you consider everything you've been through to get to this point? You know, it probably hasn't hit me yet. Uh, I've reflected on it a couple times, but I haven't really gotten too deep into it. It will probably hit me after the season uh, completely. But you know, it's been a long journey and uh, there's been a lot of adversity along the way, but there's been a great support here in Michigan for me and uh, through my family, my mom, my dad, 
and my grandparents and also my older brother Graham throughout the way. Um, without them, I don't know if I'd be here at this point, but I'm glad I am. Michigan defensive tackle Ryan Glasgow. I know the Wolverines fans are glad you're there as well and looking forward to the game on Saturday. Thanks for spending a few minutes with us. No problem. Thank you.